Hi everyone, Charlie Halliday, Fish Wish here. Uh, today I've had another cancelled session this morning after I've already arrived at the venue, so I'm going to make use of the time to do a little bit of light lure fishing using my favourite rod. Uh, noddy rod as someone once called it, my little shape, um, Gray's um, two to five pound casting spinning rod, about six foot long. Caught my two biggest perch on this, a five pound a four and a four pound twelve. So it's fine, it does the job. I'm using eight pound J braid, seven pound fluorocarbon connected with an FG knot and American fishing wire, um, six pound breaking strain connected to a tungsten 97 Cheb weight and a floating stick worm. And I'll put all the details on these products in the description. And now I'm gonna go and join my mate, John, who's already on the canal side, fishing Bridgewater and Taunton Canal, just hoping to get a bit of a bend in the rod. It's quite bright, we've had a lot of rain. It's early February. Um, the water looks bang on actually. It's a little bit milder uh, this week. Just hopefully hoping that the, uh, the cold rain hasn't put the fish down, but the color looks good. Polarized glasses, probably the most important piece of fishing kit in my armory. And I'll just show you what the water clarity is like today. So you can see why I regard them as such an important piece of kit. You get the follows from fish that you wouldn't otherwise know about. And it can make such a difference to your confidence and lure selection. It also means the fish can see us and that's a really important factor too. And what you won't realize is the abundance of food that's down there. I'll just show you that. John's using a little fox shad on a Barclay jig head. Same sort of light setup, probably a couple of pounds stronger on the main line and the. Oh, he's in. Into a, into a tree. I, I wanted to get that. Yeah. No, I, I know you're being serious there. You want to get rid of it for other anglers, don't you? Yeah. Ray's decided to join us as well. What have you got on the end of your rod, Ray? Pop a sand in on it. Yeah. Nice. It's like just it. that I feel that sometimes rubber, they let it go. Yeah. But when they've got something that is real, that's when they hold on. Definitely. I like it. Oh yeah, single hook. Single hook. And a tre two trebles at the back. Two trebles at the back. Yeah. It is. That sun's throwing a shadow right across the canal. That's why I'm crawling around like a monkey. Water is much clearer than I thought it was now that the sun's come up a little bit. So I'm casting this right into the thick of any any dead reed beds. Because it's such a light lure and quite a fast retrieve reel that you put up, don't you? The, um, the, the lure will come really high up in the water. Yeah, we just let it. Just keep it low if you can and see if you can see if you can bounce the bottom as much as you can. Yeah, I've been going up and down like that since so then. All right. I've got a bad feeling about today. First blood to Raymundo on his wobbled sand eel. Nah, you caught twice. That's hooked twice, isn't he? Yeah. See what we have here. Look, if you ever look closely, you get where they've been sitting, you get the leeches. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah there's nice. two. Yeah. There's one there. He's, so, so if you, you help the fish by getting rid of them. And there's one by his eye. You can blind them, can't it, when they're gone? Yeah, eyes. yeah. People often think that it's um, hooks that have gone in the eyeballs, but it's not, it's leeches on the eyeballs. It kills them. Right. So that means he's been sitting. Obviously, they've been sitting on the bottom. Yeah. My fears were confirmed. It proved to be a really tough day and you could see right across the canal and the pike were tucked right away into the reeds. You got one, John? Right, John's in. Good. I just spooked a fish funny enough as I came up to the bank. Well done. Oh, wicked. They all feel big on that, don't they? Yeah, you're in the water, but you love it when you 
I'm really glad you've proved me wrong with that lure as well, that's best, the best part. I spooked one in the margins as I went up to go and cast, about a similar sort of size actually. Ollie. They're long aren't they? They're quite long. That's... They went straight out to that and had it straight away. Didn't Did they? Even, didn't even try, just went boom, bumped it straight away. I didn't tell you it was barbless. <laughs> is it barbless? It's it called barbless. I oh, think it's barbless. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh no, that's good. I like that. That's good that it's barbless, is it? Yeah. yeah. I think you actually hook more fish because the barbs, the barb hooks take more to dig in. When you're fishing them slow. In there as well. It's pretty. Nice Checking for hooks. No other hooks in there, which is good. Is that going to happen? Yeah. You want to get a picture of him? Right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, well done. Lovely fish. Make sure it's recording. Yep, yeah, it was recording. Okay. Nice one. Oh, Johnny's got me on there. There you go. Oh, I'm pleased for you. That's really cool. Oh uh, well, so it's one to Ray, one to you, zero to me. Oh, I'm feeling the pressure now. Catch <laughs> fish. Yeah, I spooked one. I was, uh, just, just, just before you hooked that one, I, I spooked one in the margins. Did you? Yeah. Is that here? Yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Classic. Yeah. He's offering me his rod. Yeah. No, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, God. My I've got another one. You haven't. Is it in a gate? Oh, no, you Here's be a quiet. Fish, Let's have a look at this massive fish then, oh, John. No. Let's have a look it's at not it. A fish. I'm going to keep the camera rolling. No, turn that camera off. No, I'm leaving that It's not a fish. Just... Don't listen to me. I thought it was to start with because it did fall back a bit. It must have been it snapped off, wasn't it? Yeah. Poacher. Time's up. Big fat blank for me, first for a little while. It serves me right for being so smug about catching a load to raise zero last time and uh, big thanks to Ray and John for joining me. Don't forget to add a comment, like and subscribe, it all helps with the work that I do with Fish Wish, helping young and uh, disadvantaged anglers uh, progress. Cheers now, bye.